Welcome back to Detroit Wants to Know. We're coming to you from beautiful downtown Southfield, uptown Southfield. We're coming to you from Beans and Cornbread on Northwestern Highway. My good friend Patrick Coleman is the proprietor, and we're going to be talking to him in the next segment. But first, we're going to talk to my good friend Tiffany Tilly. Tiffany, you're running for city council in Southfield. Yes. You're a mother of two. Yes. You've raised your children in Southfield. Yes. Tell me this. Why why take the risk and run for office? Why do you why run for it? We heard that Southfield's great. Crime is down. Uh, police uh, fire response time is five minutes. I mean, the only real crime you have is Detroit City Council. People falling asleep at wheels on the border. <laughs> got it in twice. Anyway, why? Why South, take the risk? Southfield is a great city. Um, I've been in politics a long time, a long time community and political activist. I love to advocate for people, for causes, for issues, and I feel like I can be a strong voice for a strong city. Um, I've also lobbied in DC. I have a background of being in the clerk's office for the city of Detroit as well as for Wayne County for Kathy Garrett. I, I feel like I have a lot to bring to the table. Um, there's a lot of business changes, as you, you said, going on in the city. I would like to be at the table for those changes. I have my MBA from U of D. I've studied around the world, several countries, um, and I've gotten a lot of business training. I also was the communications director for the Central Business District downtown. So I, okay. I have a lot to bring. You're obviously qualified, mm -hmm. okay? But tell me this, what are you going to advocate if the quality of life is so great here? How are you going to advocate? What are you going to advocate for? There are issues here. We have in issues ah, with our infrastructure. Finally. It's not, Tell me the issues. It's not perfect. I mean, I, no remember, city, I remember no Greenfield. No city is perfect. I remember that was like riding on the moon going to Greenfield. That almost cost Mayor Lawrence her congressional bid. But go ahead. No, no city is perfect. Um, we have um, issues with our infrastructure, not just on Greenfield, other streets, as well as our re residential streets. I personally back out into potholes every day. So um, my subdivision is one of the first divisions to get changes in the infrastructure. So, but we need to see that in other places in the city as well. Um, also, like I said, the um, business community, Northland being shut down, that was a huge issue. And I think that put a stigma, a small stigma here on, on our city. Um, and we can do better, and I want to be at the table to do better. There are, are also changes. Um, I've been going to school board meetings. My daughter is in high school here in Southfield. I've been taking my daughter as well with me to the meeting so that she can advocate for her issues because schools are being closed down. Schools are being merged. And so her school is on the slate um, in the concept that they've come up with, the recommendations that they've come up with to shut down. Let's switch gears. Okay, running for office, you can't do it for free, all right? You're employed with, you're, you're a real estate agent with yes. Keller Williams Novi? Yes. Is it? What's happening in the real estate market, not only in Southfield, but in Southeast Michigan? It's a great time in real estate right now. Um, From a seller's perspective or a buyer's perspective? Well, there are benefits for both. It's definitely a seller's market now. Um, I do represent the, the tri-county area. So I sell homes in um, Wayne, Macomb, and Oakland. However, although it is a seller's market now and it's a hot seller's market, um, there are still benefits to buyers because buyers can, can benefit from the low interest rates. So we're still at three something percent. It's creeping up, going towards 4% for mortgage rates, but they definitely can benefit from those um, lower monthly rates because of that interest rate. Okay. Well, I wish you luck on your campaign for Southfield City Council. Uh, it's a wild time, okay? I'm gonna tell you, yeah. Southfield, knocking on doors is the hardest thing on the planet because the houses are so far from the streets. And a first time candidate, I'm gonna tell you from experience of taking the first African American male onto that council, it's a lot of walking, a lot of mailing, and it's five degrees of separation. You gotta know everybody. So good luck, Miss Tilly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, it's my main man, Patrick Coleman. He started on Eight Mile and now he's on Northwestern Highway. I remember when he was just a regular chef and this place is still going. We'll be right back with my man, Patrick Coleman, proprietor of Beans and Cornbread.